Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. I'm now answering a question from a quite an old paper. It's uh, pre-2020, but it's still within the syllabus, um, still relevant to our syllabus. Uh, this is question number 13 from October, November 2011. This is um, paper 2, variant 2, the 0580 syllabus. And here we have this circle. We have a north line. Um, it says AOC is a diameter, so that means a straight line. And it goes through the center of the circle of the circle center O. AT is a straight line that cuts the circle at B. PT is the tangent to the circle at C. So we have to find, or they've told us angle COB, as it's marked here, COB is 76 degrees. Calculate the angle ATC, ATC, this angle over here. That's what we've got to calculate. So one of the things that we should know um, about angles in circles is that when you have a radius, and you have a tangent meeting on the circumference of the circle. This tangent meets the, the radius, OC, of the circumference. They always meet at right angles. The, okay, so we can say the angle ACT is equal to 90 degrees. We don't have to put the reasons, but I'll just put it in case some questions do ask you. You can just say tangent meets radius. That's good. That's fine. That's good enough for a reason. Tangent meets radius. Can read my writing. All right, so that's ACT, that's 90 degrees. The other thing we should know is that, um, for example, here we have this angle 76, which if you follow where it is subtended or what is it subtended by, it goes back from O to B and from O to C. So this angle BOC goes back to B and C. You can say it's subtended by or standing on BC. That's like the origin, that's where the angle starts. Now, with angles in circles, we always try to find other angles which stand on the same arc as the angle that we're considering. So, we, 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 the, the only thing we're given is this angle. So, we can see from here, in fact, there's two ways I can do with this question, actually. There's two ways I can do with this question. All right. I'm going to show you one way, then I'm going to show you another way. Because angles in circles always has more than one way. Right. The way that first hit my eye, all right, was the way I'm going to show you now. And I... While I'm doing this, I've seen, I've spotted a different way. So I'll show you both ways, just so you can see that there's multiple ways of dealing with such questions. Okay, um, so now, what I can see is that there is another angle that's also standing on B and C, and that's the angle B, A, C. If I follow this, let me make it a different color. If I follow this angle, this is B, A, C. Both of these two angles are standing on the same arc. Okay, so you have these two angles, this angle here and this angle here, both standing on BC. So we can see that 76 and this angle here both stand on the arc BC. But BOC is at the center of the circle, BAC is at the circumference. So we can say that BAC is equal to a half of BOC. Okay, because we can say um, angles um, on the same arc. Angles on the same arc, okay, um, and one is uh, one at the center, something like that. One at center, something like that. That would be fine, right? So we can say that BAC therefore is going to be seventy-six over two, which is thirty-eight, right? Yeah, sixty plus uh, um, sixteen. Yes. 38, uh, 38, that's right. Okay, so that's the angle BAC, so that's 38 degrees. Okay, now once I know what this angle is, I can work out what that angle is because I have uh, the triangle ATC. Looks like this, this whole triangle. Okay, I can get rid of some of these markings here now. I'll get rid of some of the highlighter. Let's just get rid of this for, for now. So this was uh, 38, this is 90 degrees, but we have now this triangle here. GNL highlight. Okay, we have this, this, this triangle, ATC. A right angle triangle. Okay, and we wanna find the angle, okay, ATC. So we can say ATC is equal to 180 minus 90 plus 38, or we could have even just said, you know, this is 90, what's left is 90, so this is going to be 90 minus 38, which is what this is going to give you, 180 minus 90, 
which is 90 minus 38. So we can just find the angle. So we have um, 180 minus 90 in brackets plus 38, which gives us 90 minus 38, which is 52 degrees. So this angle here is 52 degrees. Okay, so that's one way of finding that angle is 52. Okay, I could have also found it in another way, and I'm going to show you the other way as well. I could have done this. I could have said, okay, I know that this is 90 degrees, as we just determined. Tangent meets radius. This is a straight line, so I can work out what this angle is. This is 180 minus 76, which is 104. And because this is an isosceles triangle, because this is the radius, OA, OB, OC, they're all radii. So these are all equal lengths. So this is an isosceles triangle. So this angle, you can say o, OAB. Whoops. I have to put that on the center. Okay, so OAB. The angle OAB is equal to 180 minus 104 divided by 2. Why? Because it's isosceles triangle. Okay? Because um, this angle is the same as that angle. These two are the same. Because isosceles, so 180 minus 104, what's there, what's left is divided equally between those two. So that gives you 76 divided by 2, which is 38, as we found. That's 38 degrees. And once we worked out that's 38, again, we could do the same thing using angles and triangles. The uh, same answer here for ATC is equal to 52 degrees. So that's the answer for ATC, 52 degrees. Okay, there's also other ways of doing it. For example, I know this is 76, I know this is 90. Once I know this is 38, I can work out what that is. Then I have a, quad a quadrilateral. Okay, then these three angles plus that add up to 360. But that's a bit long-winded. But there's multiple ways with angles and circles of finding the answers that you need. In m most cases, multiple ways. And whatever hits your eye first is normally what you go by. Right? Sometimes one way is easier than another. Um, but it really doesn't matter as long as you get the right answer at the end. Okay, so that's just an illustration of some different methods we could use. But one very important thing to do whenever you see a radius is if you, you know, like A, O, A, O, B, O, C, if you mark them straight away, you'll be able to spot isosceles triangles very easily then. All right, now for part B, it says T is due north of C. Calculate the bearing of B from C. So T is due north of C, okay? So this is straight, it's like vertical, due north. Calculate the bearing of B from C. So I'm going to draw a line that connects B and C together. Because that looks like we need to do that there. So that's C and that's B. All right, so I've drawn that line in. We want to find the bearing of B from C. So when they tell you to find the bearing of a point from another point, where is the, the letter that's after, directly after the word from, directly after the word from, that letter is where you have to draw your north line. So we have to draw the north line at C. Now it's already drawn. This is, it says T is due north of C. So this is the north line. It's drawn already. Okay, this is the north line. And when you're finding a bearing of a point from, a, from another point, you start from the point after the word from, and you face north, and then you go clockwise. You turn an angle clockwise until you're facing, until you re reach the line that's going to where you want to go. So this is the bearing of B from C, so we've got to go all the way around to there. Okay, this is the, ang this is the angle we want to write. That is the bearing of B from C. Okay, so we can do this in a couple of ways. Okay, I could uh, work out what this angle over here is and subtract it from 360. Okay, and to do that, I could um, basically uh, find this angle. Or oh, what's easier for me to do, actually, is just to find this angle here. And add it to 270 because um, we know that uh, T is due north of C. I know that this is 90 degrees. So I know for sure this is 90 degrees here, for sure. The radius and the tangent meet at 90 degrees. Okay, so that means this must be 270. Okay, so this is from here to here. From here to here is 270. That part is 270. 270. So if I add this angle here, so 270 add angle BCO, that would be my bearing. Okay, because it's the angle clockwise from north at C until you're facing B. So now, as I mentioned before, this is an isosceles triangle here. Okay, these two angles aren't the same, but these two are the same. These two angles are the same. Okay, so we have this isosceles triangle like this. These two sides are the same, so these two angles are the same. We know that this is 76 degrees, so the angle we're looking for here, which is OCB, is going to be 180 
minus 76 divided by 2, which is 104 divided by 2, which gives you um, 180 minus 66, 76 divided by 2, 104 divided by 2, which is 52. Yeah, 52, I'm going to talk about. So that's 52 degrees. It's the same as that, actually, but that's fine. Okay, that's also 52. And uh, we could probably justify that somehow as well. But anyway, that angle is 52, okay, as well. Right, so this is 52 degrees here. Okay, so what we can say is the whole angle that we need is 270 plus 52. Okay, so it's going to go from here round to 270 plus that 52. So that's going to be 270 plus 52, 270 plus 52 is going to give us 322. So 322 degrees is the bearing of B from C. And that concludes this question. So this question involved angles in circles, it involved, uh, you know, angles at the center being twice, angle at the circumference. And uh, you, it also involved, we could have involved, you know, um, isosceles triangles, three figure bearings, a few different things involved in this question. Okay, so that's an, as I said, it's an old question, but still relevant to our, our new syllabus since 2020. Um, so it's fine. Other questions from this paper, if I'm ever asked to answer any of them, I will place them in the playlist that will appear over here. Um, other questions from this topic, well, there's two topics I'll put, put here, angles in circles in this playlist, and the playlist that will appear here will be for um, three figure bearings. And you can um, click on this link here, take you to a video which shows you how to find my material in an efficient way. Thank you for watching and see you soon.